Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remaining of April 2021 in regards to love and romance. Let's get right into it. Aquarius, let's see what's going on with you guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing awesome. All right, your first card here is the Nine of Pentacles. I see you very focused, very um, money motivated, uh, trying to achieve or trying to find some type of financial stability. For some of you guys, um, really enjoying your singlehood or enjoying this time right now of, I don't want to say solitude, but it's almost like a feeling of feeling comfortable in your own skin, feeling comfortable and confident. Um, working on yourself is what I'm seeing here. Now, the person of your interest or the person you're going to be dealing with is the two of wands. So there's definitely a partnership. I feel that for some of you guys, you've been single for quite a while. Uh, for others of you, there is, there hasn't been... There hasn't been much movement in regards to this connection, um, but the two of wands is definitely representing partnership. It's a person that is either contemplating or looking at you as a person that they can potentially uh, want to make some type of partnership or relationship uh, become something, you know, like I see them like really being either drawn to you or being pulled towards you. They see you as this person that is very motivated, very goal oriented. Um, I feel that for some of you guys, you've been, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I see you guys contemplating, uh, if you're ready to be in a relationship and I see you like questioning, doubting, um, probably because you've been single for quite a while. Um, but the two of wands could represent fire energy, Aquarius, uh, sorry, not Aquarius, <laughs> Sagittarius, Aries, Leo type of energy, Earth energy as well, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, but I feel that you're going to be hearing from someone that is at a distance. Uh, it could be a person that you dealt with in the past, not very far off the past. It could have been a person that you were talking to probably a couple of months ago. Uh, there was some type of distancing or perhaps they're not, they're from a distance. They're not where you're at. Uh, but I feel them reaching out. I see them like, something in their life changed. So it could be that they were dealing with someone when they were like talking to you or being around your social circle. They could have known friends of yours, that type of energy, but I feel that they weren't really focused. Um, and it could have been because they were entertaining other options or they were unaware that you were interested in them. However, I do see them reaching out to you or wanting to be around you or communicating. Uh, for some of you guys, it could represent a person from the past the relationship itself is the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, I definitely see this person. I feel like for some of you guys, you already know who this person is. Um, this is a person that is coming out of, like they could have felt like they weren't ready yet. It could have been that they were healing or that they were working on themselves. Um, and I see them coming back around and communicating with you. For some of you guys, it could have been a situation where uh, the connection didn't really lead to nothing. Or it was something that it started very slowly, but it never really took took flight. I see them coming back around and being focused, like they're wanting uh, some type of stability or they're wanting to um, create some type of like getting to know each other and being able to like see if this can potentially become something. Um, I'm hearing the past, so for some of you guys, it could be a person from the past, while for others, it could be just a new person that comes or that you connect with um, through texting, through social media, anything like that, um, that's, that's, that starts off rather slow, but then it progressively grows. I do see them being at a distance, though. Now, the, the advice here is the Emperor card, and the Emperor card is all about, this is the Entrepreneur card for me, you guys, so I feel that money is going to really be your focus for the remaining of the month. I feel that for a lot of you guys, there are certain goals or certain, um, there's definitely growth in your career and your finances that's coming through very, very strongly. Um, for some of you guys, it could be like a partnership, not necessarily relationship, but it could be like a 
career partnership. However, it is a love reading. Uh, but anyways, the Emperor card is a representation of that, of having the need to be structured, um, having the need to look towards the future, to look towards not living in the moment right now, but there is a need for you to focus on your future, Aquarius. I know Aquarians have this issue where some of you guys, you know, feel like you you get to a certain point where you want to um, find a stable relationship, but then the fear of like losing yourself in a re relationship becomes so prominent that you guys kind of run away from commitment. Um, however, with the Emperor card, what they're telling you is to focus on your goals as well as to focus on longevity. So stop entertaining anything that is superficial or anything that is temporary. And this could represent people that you know are emotionally unavailable or that are that off the bat, they tell you they're not looking for anything long term. Uh, stop entertaining people that are married or people that you know are in a committed relationship, but they tell you that they're separated. Like, you know that they're in a relationship like walk away from that because the Emperor card is all about solidifying for the future. This is structure. This is um, planning and being methodical with the time and effort that you put into partnerships or relationships. For some of you guys, I do see, uh, like I said, Earth energy coming through Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. For others of you, I definitely do see an Aries coming through. And the likely outcome here is the manifestation of something long term so i see for you guys okay i'm gonna be honest now don't crucify me aquarians because i know you guys are always like oh i don't need love you know i don't need love I don't, i'm not looking for commitment um whatever keep saying that to yourself it's an inner struggle whether you're on whether you accept it on a conscious or subconscious level you're always going to feel like there is two different aspects to you. There is a need for settling and settling with or wanting to build and wanting to cement roots. And there is also the other side to you, which is the wanting to run away from commitment because you want to experience life and freedom. It's about balancing. You can have both. Um, finding obviously a person that is going to embrace the need for you to be free and um, and that is going to also embrace your loyalty. Do you see what I'm saying? So you can have the both of both worlds. You don't have to be quick to say, I don't want this because you feel like you can't attain. It's all about giving the opportunity to people that match your energy, Aquarius. And I definitely do see that coming through for you. So you go from the nine of pentacles, which is singlehood, um, to the two of wands, partnership, ten of pentacles, commitment, long-term longevity, um, uh, this is the end all be all, uh, for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single for a very long time, by the end of this month, the beginning of May, I want to say all the way to the third, uh, third week of May, you're going to be meeting a new person that's coming into your life and you may meet them through work, or it could be a person that either recently gets hired on to your job, or you meet this person while they're working, but I feel very strongly like they're coming towards you. Because they're telling me it's a person that is not from where you're from. But it could be that they're moving or relocating and they're going to be coming around to your workplace. Um, now, for those of you guys that are going to be quick and say, well, I don't date people that. Yeah, never say never, honey, because I see you guys <laughs> connecting with someone very strongly that is going to be either around your workplace or you meet them while they're working. Or this is a person that is definite. And I... I'm going to be honest, for some of you guys, whatever your position is, I feel like this person that's coming in may be higher than you. <laughs> Just putting it out there. <laughs> All right, let's see. So there's definitely love coming towards you guys. For those of you guys that are already dealing with someone, I do see commitment coming through uh, with the Emperor card and the Ace of Pentacles. This could be, um, and the Ten of Pentacles, this could be an engagement, this could be a love offering, this could be a ring. Um, so just be ready. Let's see what the Love Oracle cards has for you, Aquarians. We have clarity. Clear your thoughts to see what is in front of you. 
that's kind of like the energy that I was sensing here with the Nine of Pentacles and Two of Wands. It's like you're happy or you've learned to be happy on your own. You're self-sufficient. Um, but there is still something deep down inside you like you fantasize about finding some type of relationship, some type of bonding. Um, but at the same time, there is fear of kind of losing yourself or fear of I don't want to commit myself to something that I'm not able to give. Um, but in reality, it's like I said, you know, what they're telling you here is you can have the best of both worlds. You can find a person that like you needs their space and their freedom, um, but have or match your loyalty. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight, guidance, and knowledge. I wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.